About 20 years ago, when the world was yet to realize the dangers of plastic waste, Bangladesh became the first country on earth to ban the use of single-use plastic bags. Since then, plastic pollution has worsened and raised global awareness of its dangers. In an effort to avoid the dangers of plastic waste, the government of Bangladesh turned to jute commercial crops that have thrived in the region for centuries. Bangla Diesel, one of the largest jute producers in the world. Jute is an annual crop grown mainly 80% in Bangladesh in the very fertile Ganges River Delta region. Jute is easy to grow and has a high yield per hectare. In addition, unlike cotton, jute requires little fertilizer and pesticides. People in Bangladesh refer to jute as gold fiber. This is because jute has very long fibers between 1 to 4 meters, smooth, shiny, and golden brown. Unlike most textile fibers which are mostly composed of cellulose, jute fibers are part of lignin. Cellulose is the main component of plant fibers, while lignin is the main component of wood fibers. Thus, burlap is a material that has both strength and low cost, durability, and flexibility, with all its advantages in terms of use, production, and global consumption burlap ranks second only to cotton. This material can be used to replace disposable plastic bags. More than that, burlap is also useful as a geotextile fabric that is laid on top of the soil to stabilize it against landslides, as well as to control erosion or weeds. Burlap fabric helps to retain moisture and hold the soil in place. While the open weave structure of the fabric allows space for plants to keep growing, as the plants formed burlap fabric begins to decompose. In the current era of sustainable development, Bangladesh is very proud of its range of 285 jute products, which are exported to more than 100 countries around the world. This range of products includes raw jute, bags, sacks, ropes, carpets, hats, mats, carpet backing fabrics, chair covers, canvas, paper, household items, etc. These products are exported to countries such as Australia, Brazil, the United States, China, Russia, the United Kingdom, and others. The jute charcoal product, which is a byproduct of jute sticks, is also a part of this industry. Where, Bangladesh produces around 3 million jute sticks annually. The country earns between 3 to 3.5 billion dollars in potential exports from jute-based charcoal. And moreover, the market for jute bags is estimated to reach 3.84 billion dollars by 2027 with a compound annual growth rate of 10.4%. In Bangladesh, the jute sector not only contributes 1% to the country's GDP, but also constitutes 3% of the total export earnings. In Bangladesh, jute supports the livelihoods of about 25 million people. Weaving is a highly valued tradition in the cultural heritage of Bangladesh. It offers livelihoods to many and is the second largest source of rural economy after agriculture. The sector employs about 1.5 million people including 900,000 directly and 600,000 indirectly, making it an important driver of employment as well as sustainable economic growth. In addition, weaving has played an important role in empowering women by providing them with valuable employment opportunities. Every spring, billions of jute seeds are thrown in open fields, mostly by women. The billions of seeds then germinate at the first rain. They grow rapidly, or about two centimeters every day. By the end of spring, the Delta Pond looks like a stunning green lake. And the great thing is, without artificial fertilizers or pesticides, 
burlap plants can flower and rise to about 3 meters. And one hectare of burlap can devour about 13.6 tons of carbon dioxide, while also contributing 10 tons of oxygen to the atmosphere. When harvest time arrives, which usually occurs between 4 to 5 months after planting, workers will wade through stagnant water to cut down the jute stems. Usually, the cutting of the jute stems is done by hand and using tools such as machetes or sickles. They then strip and separate the leaves from the bundle trunks and transfer them to a slow-moving water source. On average, jute produces four times more fiber per hectare than jute. The fiber is located under the bark around the heartwood. To extract the fibers, the jute bundles are soaked in water and left for 10 to 30 days until the fibers are loose and ready to be stripped from the stalks, then washed and dried. Usually, to make it easier to remove the fibers, farmers will beat the jute stalks. Then once the fibers are loose, they are pulled from the woody core of the plant. Then the fibers are washed wrung out and dried in the sun. Once dry the fibers are rolled up and taken to the mill for further processing. As a finished product, jute can be woven, spun, and pressed into bags, hammocks, hats, and 100 or more other items. Ultimately, Bangladesh's rich textile heritage, backed by the versatile qualities of jute and a strong commitment to environmental friendliness, is not only a source of great pride. It has also contributed immensely to the country's economic growth.